bad. I could've been horrendous. So, hello to everyone watching the stream, whether you're at home or not at home. Uh, today is the 26th of August, 2021. Uh, it is a Monday. It's been a Monday every single time I've streamed for the past couple of months, but uh, nonetheless, uh, yeah, nonetheless, it's, uh, it's a bit of a wacky time for me bit of a you know lots of change lots of lots of new things but I you know you, you gotta you gotta keep the things that you've kept for routine and you'll stay you'll stay grounded is that is that sound advice I don't know uh, probably isn't sound advice but that's okay uh, we're gonna hop right into the game it's Mario Galaxy yet again for the third time uh, this is going to be a bit of a weird uh, week when it comes to playing this game and getting all 60, no, all 120 stars in the game because uh, this game does one thing which I absolutely despise, and that is, in order to get all 120 stars, you have to actively not, like, uh, actively beat the game and then you unlock a thing later on. So once I hit 60 stars, you're going to see me just do a thing. But right now, Luigi's stuck over there. And we need to get him, so... Uh, I'm doing the Royal Wii again, so uh, please yell at me if I keep doing that. Uh, but, uh, no, yeah, it's, um... Yeah, it's, it's been, it's been a lot of change for me. Um, so, I'm definitely, yeah, trying to, trying to hold on to the things that I've really, like, you know, kept the same, uh about me and uh yeah streaming has been oddly one that like i've been so on and off with and i would keep it up for um at least like the two years that i really started off i really like kept up uh doing like streaming in the past but now i'm just like well not now but like you know at the beginning of the year i was like dude like what do you do what do you not beginning of the year yeah yeah i was like do i really like get into it again or what but you know, I've been enjoying it. It's been pretty good fun. Um, I'm just replaying an old level, uh, but there's a bonus star, so don't worry. Um, so, uh, yeah, it's it's been pretty good. Um, I can definitely say that uh, some exciting things happened in the past uh, week, which is I had a really good burger, and it was really good because it had really good chips and aioli dip with it. Uh, the burger itself was... Definitely above average, it was pretty alright. Um, but, it had a really good dip with it. And I'm, yeah, I'm really happy that, uh, that I went out with it. Just like, yeah, with a friend and a burger and, you yeah, know, it was good fun, so. And that's one where it's like, yeah, like, sometimes, I mean, granted, like, I've had burgers with, like, other people, but, you know what I mean? It's like, when, when there's one that's, like, fairly above your average above like you know the regular kind of burger that you have it's like it really stands out so and i feel like you could you could probably pick a lot of things out like that where it's like you know you do a yeah dude there's so much going on right now um but you know what i mean like there's a lot of like you know some sometimes you do something regularly and then you do something as a change and is it better or worse uh may not even be a thing in the short term or whatever, but, you know, I think it's always good to kind of, like, look back and go, like, hey, why exactly, you know, what exactly did I gain from that, and if I, if it wasn't really something gained in the short term, then, you know, oh, do I, do I just figure out, you know, what to do in the future based on how I reacted to stuff like that. So that's always, that's always a thing. Always learning opportunities, always stuff like that. Uh, I'm speaking so generally, and I should probably start noting very, very specific things. So, uh, I have, uh, come up with a terrible bad habit of mine, which is, uh, re- <laughs> not replaying, but reopening up, uh, my, uh, my game of, uh, Adventure Capitals. Those who know me on Steam, that's actually my most played game on Steam, which is maybe the saddest part about me. Um, 
that Adventure Capitalist is my most played game. But, I think that more speaks that I've never played TF2 like as much as other people may have. I'm not having a good day with these bullet bills. Uh, this, uh, so this level, yeah, in order to get this uh, bonus star, once you've got Luigi giving you the, the message, uh, is your greatest achievement Adventure Communist? Adventure Communist, I can safely say I never got into it, and I, I just don't understand. It's too, too stop start. Oh my goodness. Alright, for, for reference, Luigi is... Ooh. Luigi's down there. Which means I've got to get a bullet bill upside down. Oh wait, I'm a I'm a dumby. I'm a dumby. Hold on, get, get in the fire and then just immediately go under. And then hit down, which makes me move forward. And now up, this makes me move back. Okay. Oh, he's here, he's here. And he's just gonna break that. Well, I'm, I mean I'll take it, but I wasn't expecting to to cop it. I wasn't expecting to get this. Ugh, up, up, I know, right? Oh, I hate it. Yeah, watch the pillars, and there you go, you're good. I haven't played in a while, I haven't played in a while, so, so give me give me a small break. Um, I found this one, the Royal Wii. This is one of the elusive green stars. Uh, we got another one uh, in the last one in Boy Base. And this is yet another green star. It's not green because it's Luigi, it's just, it's just green. Why not? Uh... But that at least rules out the, uh, the Battle Rock Galaxy, which is neat. I wonder if I can get all of Luigi's stars before, um... Before the 60 stars. That'd be interesting. Uh... But yeah, I'm hoping the goal for today is another 24 stars, which it's been 7 minutes, so this is uh, a little above average. It may not actually be 24, but I'm going to try my best to at least drag it up to 72 stars. Alright, uh, other than that, let's continue on with Freeze Flame. I played the first star um, in the last, uh, at the very end of the last uh, stream last week. And uh, I'm going to go back for the bonus star. So, this is the one with the giant pillar, uh, you've also got to tell this penguin. Uh, I appreciate that they've reused the, the kind of aesthetic of the penguin from Mario 64. Keeps it nice and consistent, because I found that, um, if you ever played Mario Sunshine, they, like, really changed the looks of, like, a handful of enemies and things. Oh, dude! It's a- you know what- ooh, there's two of them. There's two of them this time. Dude, you guys are fighting over each other. It's the same Link, but... You know what's weird? It's a different referral... No, not a referral. It's a different, like, shortening link every time. Uh, you know, let's, let's spin to win. Let's get this penguin. Dude, that's crazy that, like, Twitch bots feel the need to, like, push on a guy. Hello, Adonis! I, it's crazy that, like, yeah, these, these, like, Twitch bots go, Ah, yes, here's a guy with four viewers right now. Let's, let's, let's get some, some people clicking on our suspicious links. Uh, but yeah, so, this bonus, uh, star is a rather interesting one to, to get, because it requires you to note, uh, Oh. That's, just, that's just the coin one. I don't know why I keep like ducking like that away to get that. And completely ignoring the fact I'm incredibly out of it. He's already famous. Dude, I I would be amazed if I was like that famous. Maybe maybe that's what I would do. <laughs> I don't know how, like, I guess, like, big, big um, Twitch streamers, they don't, uh, they've got too much chat that it kind of drowns it out, whereas, like, when, you, when you're trying to aspire and you work your way up, it's like, you don't have much going on, so, <laughs> when a spammer, like, comes in. So this is what you gotta do, by the way. Oh, no! I've got time. That's it. You've gotta be able to nail that, and then you go over here, and 
then you're in a unique part of the level that does lead into a hidden side. But here's a new item that I haven't done yet, technically, on stream. This is the uh, Fire Mario. You can shake to shoot fireballs. It's like the ice one, except it's just fireballs. But it's also the, the classic white and red that uh, he wore in such games as Super Mario Brothers. Uh, this one is a little bit of a timed one. You have to be fast enough that you can throw the fireballs at that snowman. You gotta watch out for ice keys. Ice ice keys. Keys keys is uh faulty towers. Uh, this one's a fun one where you like throw these like down the slope and you just get the rocks. Or in my case, you just get the hole. Oh, I'm I'm actually abysmal. I'm, dude. Okay, legit, legit. I'm, I'm actually having like a horrendously rough time uh, in the first eleven minutes of the stream. Like I play like one star. I've just been like, I'm out, man. Could be a sign of the luck, but I don't know. Uh. I believe you don't need the... Uh, yeah, no, that's a, that's a guy up there. This is kind of interesting because of the number of, like, opportunities you get to do, like, wall jumping and, and resetting your, your spin on that. Um, I find the camera angle here is lovely and wide as well, which is always good fun. Thank you for the follow, my man. Oh my gosh. I... Mmm. Mmm. Here's a question, can you spin up here? You can. Okay, well that chalked up a little bit. Yeah, thank you for the follow. Uh, how many followers are we at? 62, 63? We're just, we're just going, bro. We're just, it's every day, bro. It's... 5 mil on YouTube in 6 months, never done before. How do characters like Jake Paul even exist? Like, it, it just, it blows my mind that, like, people who are that age can become that famous and then, like, act in the ways that they do, <laughs> you know? Like, I, I'm not saying that he's, like, a hugely <laughs> uh, Disney show. True, I guess, like, he was a, on Disney, but, like, it's crazy that, like, he kept really pushing the line, like, so hard. Um, I think his brother kind of takes the cake. Uh, I don't think anything's gonna surpass the, the suicide forest like that, but... Um, like, that, that's, that's a legit, like, wild, you know, like, rivalry between them. And it's like, man, you know, I'd be really happy. Cosmic Comet, I've got... England is my city. <laughs> Okay, I, I love, I absolutely love the fact that that guy said, oh, Jake Paul wrote that line. <laughs> like, it's just like, <laughs> you think he'd double check it, but like, he needs to have City as a rhyme, so. Uh, this is an interesting uh, Cosmic Mario race, because it doesn't even take place on the, uh, the main level. And if anything, I think something very similar appears in this, oh, like this, in another star, but it's like... I don't know. Oh, England, Ohio. Oh, is it actually England, Ohio? Is that an actual thing? I'm gonna skate this. So, the trick to really winning this is being able to master skating and then also holding up in the right direction. Uh, it's not too bad. I guess an interesting thing with Shadow Mario here is that he doesn't, um, he doesn't, uh, like, you know, rubber band. He kind of plays it fair, or at least from the next bit. I don't know, maybe he does. Uh, the guy's got a British accent though, like, is he actually from England, Ohio, or is he like... Hmm. Uh, if you want to break your, your skate, by the way, you just spin. It's the easiest way to get out of it. And another day, another star. 
really takes its time once you like add up like all the times you get the star, you do the animation, then you got Mario flying back into the dome and then he takes off his hat, the Luma kind of does a thing, he goes few yeah. Da -da 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 -da. Save. That would legitimately, like, I think that would add up like to half an hour of your total gameplay. <laughs> London, Ohio. Okay, to everyone, look up London, Ohio. This is actual... That's... That seemed to... Uh, that comma didn't seem to link, but I think I know what you mean. Uh, so this level is Freeze Flames Blistering Core. Uh, there's several Londons in, in the US, Yes. Dude, imagine, like, not liking England so much that you name a city after the biggest city in... Oh, no, sorry, you name a city after the... Oh, wait, that's... that's... Sorry, that's London, Ohio, not England, Ohio. Uh, I don't know why I'm blanking out, I'm just going like, oh, where's the other... where's the other ones? Uh, it's incorporated. England, Ohio's tiny... Uh, what's the easiest way to... to think? Oh. Yeah, done. Alright. I was meant to set up moderator stuff in the chat just uh, earlier, but, um... Uh, to the people who should be moderating, uh... Usually those people only spam the, the spam links right at the beginning. Uh... You can tell I am so awfully distracted today, apparently. I'm completely out of it. I'm hitting, like, down right now. Oh my gosh. I, I swear, I swear. Am I, am I in it? Am I not in it? I don't know. Alright, so. This is cool. I like it. It's like a little, little sun thing. Like two little hemisphere pancakes put together. Turns into a nice... Hot pockety gooey center, uh, creamy nougat, you know, the huge. Um, oh, I'm about to touch it. I'm gonna touch the, the red mushroom there. I don't care, I'm going for it. One life to six lives in one fell swoop. And then I'm nearly about to, to neck myself on that one. Uh, I know you're supposed to light these, but I'm curious if you can wall jump off these, and you can, and I'm very certain you don't have to do any of that part. Nice. Okay, well, to anyone who uh, normally plays this level, I apologize greatly for everything that I just skipped, because that actually saved a lot. Uh, this one, I believe you do need a launch star, so there's nothing that I gain by ignoring this. Uh, the, the kind of annoying thing is that when you have your, I guess, either flower, uh, your spin is not really going to jump. It kind of just throws the fireball. It's good enough to throw the fireball, but... Oh. I'm actually terrible at this? I... Mm, this is going to be... It's because I named the stream All-Star. So now I'm going to be like, just like a try-hard Smash Mouth right here. Two out of five album. Astro Lounge. Dude, who's the who's the lead singer of Smash Mouth? And, like, why is he gonna like absolutely hate me after this? You know what I should probably do? Stand on the box and then like throw it like the angle that they're probably dying into. Or not? Or just jump in? Oh, I'm I'm playing like terrible today. I'm just gonna keep saying it every single time. Okay, okay. Happy thoughts. Happy thoughts. Uh. Sunshine and flowers. Mario Sunshine is not a good game to read. <laughs> nah. Uh, I don't have any particular topics of the day. Uh, oh, I've got I've got one, which is um, uh, humble getting rid of their uh, their famous sliders. Um, that sounds like it would be a meal thing to people who don't know, but humble being the company famous for the humble bundle. You got to choose how much money you wanted to give to charity or publishers or to humble themselves for hosting such a magnificent service. And meanwhile, you would get a bundle of games for a reasonable discount. I kind of seemed like a bit of a one off thing uh, back in the day. Uh, I remember starting to get uh, into buying various ones of them. Definitely not all of them, but various bundles. Uh, back when Humble Bundle 5 was the thing. Um, I think that one had like a braid in it. Like, these were like. 
indie classics. So I games that are really good. That was a tremendously good like long, long shot. Oh no, dang it. Uh, I wish I bought the Jackbox one. The Jackbox one legit was a really good bundle. I actually I remember paying the uh, the extra because it had a 33% off uh, Jackbox 5 uh, at the time. Oh my goodness, no. no. But yeah, no, it it was a good deal. Um, I guess though that like they're not that much more expensive right now though on the Steam. Uh, at the time of recording, there's the Jackbox. Uh, weekend sale, it has all of them on sale. Uh, yeah, not as not as much of value as the other one. I think I think it doesn't include them. Okay, now I just feel like the game's cheating on cheating on me. That really looks like you should be able to get it from like this angle. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> sure. Um But no yeah, I I'd say they they're good fun. I guess like, if you really wanted to, you just need one friend who has it, and as long as you're willing to play with that friend every single time, it's fine. I did get paid, yeah. Yahoo! Uh, so, love you, Nick, for, for constantly streaming Dragbox 6 and 7, even though I don't go out of my way to pay for it. I love you. We gotta do, uh, Spot the Alien. We gotta do that one. All the time. <laughs> that one legit is like great fun. I don't care. I that's my favorite Jackbox game of them all. The spot the alien. <laughs> is that the one that also includes the um the one where you play as the demon neighbors? Because that one's good fun. Yeah, so, okay, so this is the third star, but you can see, hey, that's kind of the same thing as the last, as the Cosmic Mario race, but for some reason the Cosmic Mario race unlocked itself, like, right away. Uh, interestingly, this planet ends up being, uh, kind of weird like this. I wonder if I can, like, jump it. Uh, I guess you can jump it, but... You can probably jump in like a better point there. Uh, so now we had a planet that was all cold and a planet that was all hot. Now it's time for a planet that's a bit of both. Look at this mystical box up here. It's just here. It's got star bits. Why not? Uh, so this is a fun little gimmick that they've got going on, uh, which is you've got this little grate here and uh, the water keeps kind of sinking and rising. So at some points it's the cold freezing water and at some points it's just shallow. That's good fun. Uh, and then as you walk around, and this is not wall jumpable, that would be hilarious if it was, you are now in the hot area where you will promptly be able to wall jump and really skip uh, this whole bit. Um, is there a... Is a... Yeah, there's one on the other side there. Is it really a skip though if they, you know, add a block up here? It kind of seems like it's intentional at that point. Are uh, you getting the mushroom? Oh, was there a mushroom there? It's a one-up. Don't need the one-up. Because the 1-up's not going to give me... Maybe I should have gone the mushroom. Uh... <laughs> uh, I apologize to everyone watching, just going, yep. Dude, I was backseat gaming someone so hard earlier, now I feel atrocious. This is... this is karma, right here. That's what I get for uh, the best of the gun. Oh my gosh, man, you can't see the thing. Alright, am I blind? Did I just not see the, the red mushroom? Uh, was it further over? Was it to my right? I actually don't see the red mushroom. I actually 
It's back where you saw it? Oh, okay. Maybe I can go back and get that. Uh, I guess I'm just gonna wall jump my way out of this. This is rather sad. <laughs> this is rather sad. Oh, okay, well, now I know how much I'm a terrible player. Again. Oh, oh my gosh. I'm curious if it's an input lag thing, like, as some, as, oh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Uh, yeah, I'm starting to get to that point where I'm starting to blame everything else right now. This is the five stages of, uh, of, uh, grief. First you go, oh, like, this, you know, me playing that terribly shouldn't be happening. Oh, why am I playing so terribly? Oh! Legit! 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 What is... I can't, I, I can't figure out why I'm playing so, so horrendously bad all of a sudden. Like just, how many, how many deaths have I had? That would be three now? That's three deaths and I'm definitely not getting these stars that quick. Ah, oh, it's frustrating because now it's on stream. Like now it's not just like me like going, oh, I can just like stop it. Well, I guess I can technically stop at any point, but you know what I mean. Like I gotta pay attention. All right, all right, run it, run it. Oh my gosh. Oh, I. This like. I'm genuinely curious if I've actually got like a horrendous delay all of a sudden. I um actually I and, and I'm not even saying that as like a meme or like a oh like uh, he's blaming the input he's blaming his, his his controller like that kind of stuff. I legit earlier I was like testing out a um, Tai Hero three on on Dalton and legit. I had like this, like, it was like a 120 millisecond delay or something. It was horrendous. Um, and that just seemed to be applying on input, because it's like, I can hear the audio fine, it's not decent. Alright, well, I got it, I got it. So, the point is, you gotta light the two tools, and then you can shoot on. So. It is bad enough that I can like see it, but blaming the tools, blaming the tools. Like, this is not why people come to a stream this is to watch me complain about input lag. They come to watch me suffer, hurt myself on the inside. Uh, this is effectively the same thing, except you're forced to like do it with the ice mushroom. Ice flower, flower. It's a flower. It's neat though because it you go you know you go zoomies on the lava. And then you gotta pick up the ice flower again, but it's it is the same blocks for the most part. There you go. All right, that's tree flame done. Get those get those bad vibes out of here. Oh my gosh, I want to get rid of this bad luck. Or is it luck, or is it just me playing trash? I don't know. How many stars have I gotten? Is that five? Five? Half an hour? It's a little on the slower side, but ain't too bad. Dusty Dune Galaxy. Off we go. Now I really like this galaxy, so if I play terribly in this, then it's gonna ruin my my feelings of this galaxy. But I love 
I love the way that they've made this. Usually Desert Worlds, I kind of have this, you know, like, oh, it's just like, it's a very repetitious kind of environment. But this game makes Desert Worlds moderately fun. So the gimmick of the level is that you've got these whirlwinds where if you spin, Mario, uh... I don't know how that physically works, to say. Uh, as long as you don't touch the, the ground, you're okay. Uh, your goal is to head towards the pipe. Spinala! <laughs> exactly, exactly. Uh, I believe you can ground pound as well. So that's nice. <laughs> Someone at Nintendo was just genius right there, though. Uh, ground pound through a lot of stuff. Uh, Top path is the best path. I don't care. Don't get killed. This is going to be fun to not get killed. And then get that. And then also while we're at it. Oh no. Oh. Mm, 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 mm. I can't play this game well. I cannot play this game well for the life of me. I'm just like, yep, what does that do? Oh, see ya. Just, just get rid of it. Let's get some star bits. Uh, I like these little wheels because they have gravity. I, I always find it interesting just like where does gravity like get invented in this like kind of world. You know, sometimes it's like a, a powered piece of, piece of land. Um, this is kind of cool how it gives you a, a fire flower and then lets you actually you know, wreak, havoc, uh, wreak havoc on all of these, all of these piranha plants. At least for a bit, and then uh, you get an Indiana Jones it for a bit. Nah, oh, it's good fun. Man, I'm really just like out of it there, but that's okay. A lot of star bits in this level. Ah, the chickens. This guy's probably have a very official name. That would be a lovely pun, but I unfortunately don't read. Really... I, I I I own a player's guide to this game, and I still have no idea what anything is called. Uh, but yeah, no, this is cool, kind of. I don't know. A lot, a lot of a lot of 3D platformers seem to do like the waterfall sequence. I guess this is close enough, um, but it's kind of cool. I like it. Uh, what a lot wonderful secret down there, by the way. It's just it's just a sling star. It's just there with a bunch of with a bunch of starbits down there. Uh, yeah, you can keep working away. Ah, oh, nice. Oh, 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 oh. Alright, well, we wait it. We wait it. You gotta wait it. You gotta really wait it. Now you're good. Now you work your way up. Have some more star bits, why not? Someone say star bits, why not? Gotta catch yourself that you don't slide down. They have a lot of faith in the player right now, don't they? Like really nailing all these wall jumps. There you go. And now the final hurdle, like not just falling all the way back down. And you get yourself this wonderful golden star. May not actually be made out of gold. Again, still have no idea what they're made out of. Or how they even become the star shape. Alright, real talk. What? In the same way that, like, the heart is like, you know, it's the shape it is, but like, it doesn't... It's not shaped like an actual heart. Um, what's with the star shape? Because stars don't, like, normally look like that. It's a... It's more like a regular... You know, natural shape, but... Oh, let's do the Hungry Limo. 
Because otherwise I'm never gonna... I'm gonna forget doing it. Uh, I... Was he 1200? Hey, no. Oh, jeez. Okay. Hi there, cursor. I'm constantly looking out. I've got plenty of stuff. It's now. Don't ask how. I don't know. I haven't been paying attention. And this hungry Luma transforms into, yet again, a galaxy. The Big Mouth Galaxy. This one's interesting because, uh, I don't know, it, it seems like an almost sequel to the last one. Where it's like a kind of swimming level. Big Mouth's Gold Bait. This is a fun level. I like it. The music's good fun, even though it does get reused in one later level. Uh, my favorite song, Off the Queen is Dead. Oh, exactly. Right. Uh, so, the... Yeah, the gimmick here is that you're like, oh, obviously the star's in there, and then, uh... The Cooper shell is just like, yeah, nah. Ch the chest will only open for the shell that shines. And you can even talk to this guy, and he's just sort of like... This is my hideaway. Perfect spot for fishing. And being left alone. I do. I do wish that these mini worlds had more stars in them. And you know what? That is the biggest reason why I really like Super Mario Galaxy 2. <laughs> I, but like legitimately, like Galaxy 2 has that kind of semblance of it being, you know, like smaller ideas of levels, but more, I, more levels, more ideas. So, alright, so the trick with here is that you just gotta get the, the star bits, uh, star chips rather. You get all the air back if you get them, so don't worry. Uh, I like swimming towards the, the eels. I get a very Rayman 2 vibe with this music. You know, remember the, the Cave of Bad Dreams? Uh, that's a game that I may, uh, <laughs> play back on stream. Um, Rayman 2 and its various console ports. It's a very interesting bag. I cannot get for the life of me the Steam version of Rayman 2 working and uh, before you ask, yes, it was a very brief moment in time that you could receive a version of Rayman 2 on Steam. Thank you Ubisoft for not putting it on, like, officially. It was a pre-order bonus for Rayman Origins, I believe. That was good fun. Uh, so yeah, you sling star up to the top here, and it's kind of weird that you got this, like, you know, bit where there's water at the top, water on the bottom, uh, and you can't jump from one side to the other. But with your golden shell, which drives a little faster than the, the regular green one, uh, also note that you can shine these booms out with the, the light on the front, which is kind of cool. And Mario just decided to go backwards. Ooh, thank you, Mario. Appreciate it. And with one fell swoop, there it goes. And open the chest. Ah. Man, that was close. Oh, Mario, I almost forgot to tell you something. I was trying to get a star, but I fell into this treasure chest. Let me tell you, it's even smaller than it looks. Have the star. Well. It's not as simple as it is. By the way, uh, what's this wonderful droplet of water uh, behind... <laughs> Behind there, what's going on over there, man? But that's a fun galaxy, it's a nice little, little level idea. I don't think that golden shell concept comes back. Have you played Mario Galaxy 2? Uh, definitely. I, I prefer Galaxy 2 to Galaxy 1, and uh, I'm probably in the smaller... The, it's not that small a minority. It, it is a better game, exactly. It's got Yoshi. It's got Yoshi. How can how can the game be worse? It's got Yoshi. Uh, oh, is that another Luigi? Uh, it was awesome, yes. Ah, that's another Luigi. So, we gotta tick it off. We gotta write it off. Let me give you this picture so you don't forget Luigi. So, as I mentioned way at the top uh, of uh, not this stream, but another one, uh, there are three Luigi stars. This would be the third one. Uh, the first one we got a good egg. The second one I got just at the very beginning of Battle Rock. And this last one is in Honey Hive. Uh, 
But no, yeah, I, I think Galaxy 2 is a superior game just because it is so, uh, so many more ideas. Why is it not on the Switch? Um, I wonder if there's like a technicality because I'm not too sure if, uh, Mario Galaxy 2 is not on the Shield, I believe. So whatever they, they effectively emulated it on the Shield, they just kind of stuck it on Mario All-Stars on the Switch. Uh, it makes sense why yes. Galaxy 2 wouldn't be on for that reason, but I'd also say, hey, like, that's more money that Nintendo could 100% like get and they're not capitalizing Whee! on it um, and uh yeah Nintendo is like a very bizarre company when it comes to like like they've always been reasonably all right with backwards compatibility but then like you know emulated uh stuff has never been their particularly strongest suit um Here's the thing as well, this is the first star, isn't it? So, I know Luigi is over there. Uh, I guess the question is... Yeah, no, no. So now you're gonna have to see me play this level mildly legitimately and get the B in the spot that it properly should be in. Um, yeah, you can make that jump, don't worry. Oh, you thought I couldn't do it. <laughs> is that is that a valid strat, by the way? Like... Kind of hovering with the bee. I don't know if that's a legit strat. Uh, anyway... Uh, Luigi doesn't respond to bees. So you have to not be a bee. Oh, do you have to not be a bee? Luigi, get down! Oh. There you go. Well, unfortunately you're gonna miss the line of dialogue involving the bee, but I hit because of that big scary bug. I found a power star. I do like how Luigi's in a bit of a fun spot on this level. Like, he's kinda out of the way. It's not too obscure that he's here, but it's just like figuring out that you had to like climb that slope. And there's a couple of ways you can do it. It's a him, Luigi. Uh, other than the just the idea of Nintendo were a bit lazy with 3D All Stars, um, I hope they make a Galaxy Three. Uh, I don't know if they make specifically a Galaxy Three, but I really appreciate uh, both. Uh, 3D World and uh, Odyssey. So I hope that they just keep making good fun titles. Um, the real Galaxy 3 is Sonic Lost World. Uh, I'm going to say that with a full, full layer of sarcasm. There's some fun games out there that do the crazy gravity thing, though. Uh, my personal favorite is uh, Serious Sam 2. You'd be amazed how much crazy gravity is in that game. And it's like, it's a shooter, and it works really oddly. Uh, and unfortunately, the HD versions of the games take out the crazy gravity. That's the one thing they don't maintain. They couldn't re-implement the crazy gravity with all the, the physics stuff. So they were just like, eh, just... just Leave it simple. So all the crazy gravity stuff, to like, either it becomes a teleport or it's just like a mildly redesigned area. Um, but it's such a shame, because like legit, the crazy gravity is, you know, what really like makes your exam just like one level, one level more than your typical first person shooter. You gotta watch out, the Pokies are gonna get you. Oh, dang it. I ruined it. About to die again, or... It's been a while. Okay, well, I guess I'm just gonna continue on. Um, yeah, I, I definitely find, um, uh, I was gonna say, you guys love, um, uh, like, you know, like fan box arts. It's like, it's, it's something older than, like, Swiss, not Swiss cheese, you know what I mean. 
It's like, it's such like an old art, uh, like <laughs> making a fake game box art, and I used to do it way back when. I don't think any of them really became famous, but... Uh, whoa, whoa. There we go. I got a one-up, it's cool. I like the way that this jump works as well, and it also highlights the fact that there's a Luma right there, to which you can then go, hold on, wait, and you can just bail out, and you just hop right in front of the Luma. It's hilarious. I believe he requests 50? 50? 20. 20. 20. I may have really over-prepared for that, but... <laughs> TRANSFORM! And he flies off into... Is this even space? There's a giant planet there. Who knows? But, there's a magical mystery secret star. I absolutely love this star, by the way. It's great fun. So we got this, like, this double pyramid or an octahedron as it's occasionally referred to. And the, uh, the gimmick with this area is that the sand will keep, like, shifting its window. So you'll be forced to move up and then down. On the on your way, there are five star chips to pick up. Uh, but you can also be that guy who just like wall jumps over if you really want to. Oh no, sorry, not star chips, they're silver stars. And yeah, you get this as your little indicator. And yeah, you can just kind of like hop out and hop back in and it's pretty cool. I like it. And as long as you don't get crushed, you're okay. As long as you don't get crushed, you're okay. Okay, well now I've ruined it. <laughs> yeah, the game was like, yo, get out of there. You can't be there. It's right here. And they put the star... Well, they drain all the sand, and then they put the star in the most convenient position. Right next to me. And yes! This is the mystical third green star. There are only three of them. I seem to have gotten them. Rather soon, actually. Hmm. To which Rosalina is now going to tell me, Wow, you can you can do the, the green star. You can do the green. Yeah. Three Luigi stars. It's kind of confusing that, like, Luigi gives you one of the green stars, because it makes you think, like, is there something associated with that, but... Uh, why can't they eat the stars away like Mario Sunshine? Oh, exactly. So, uh, the green stars, they unlock uh, what this is referred to as the, uh, the Twisty Trials. The Twisty Trials? I think that's what they're called. Um, reminds me that I've not eaten Twisties in a long time. Also, uh, yeah, no, might as well do them now. Might as well do them now. Uh, so the Twisty Trials are harder versions of three various challenges that I believe I've already encountered. And if I haven't, then that's going to be kind of interesting. Yeah, yeah, okay. So one is uh, the ball rolling uh, kind of galaxy. This is the rolling, uh, yeah, the rolling gizmo galaxy. Uh, these are not that hard. I don't find these levels to be that particularly annoying. That is my cue to die lots of times. Life's pretty straight without twisties. It's weird, because like twisties are not even like the curviest chip out there, or the curviest like confectionery snack. They're just... <laughs> they're, they're, they're there. They have this like 
strange taste though. Like, they're not bad, it's just... Awfully, like, spacious. They're no tasty tubes. Uh, so this one starts getting a bit narrow. I remember the vending machine ad really messing with me. Oh, is that the one where, like, uh, the people in the vending machines? There's some, like, crazy ads for, like... For, like, um... I don't know, just like snack food and stuff in this country. I guess like, maybe a lot of countries have crazy ads for, for snack food. Lots of coins. Yeah, individually wrapped. Yeah, yeah. Each twist is just one person. I remember there was, um, there was another ad for like, I think it was like the flat, like, Smith chips, and it was like everyone and like everything was flat around him, and then he like ate the chip and fell down the drain. That was a bit of a weird one. Like I don't know what to think about that, you know? Like oh, eat 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 the ch eat the chip, and uh, you too can fall into sewage. Like yeah, sure. Uh, like all good really hard levels, uh, you got to do this without dying. So. Rip me for, for dying there, but at least they give you a one-up so early. I love these blocks that you, uh, you gotta break. Uh, I can only remember the cabriad with Happy Together. Um, I can't remember specifically the Happy Together ad. I know of the ad that had the eyebrow- Oh, the eyebrow one. Dude. It's a variety of, like, Cadbury ads that are just like, what? At least, at least the gorilla playing in the air tonight. It's like, you know, I can get behind this. It's got nothing to do with, with the chocolate, but, you know, it's, it's a fun ad. It's like, you know, oh, what, what? What is he gonna do? And then he, and he you know, plays in the air. Oh, I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> I'm good. Because <laughs> it's like right near the end of the level as well. Alright, real talk. I meme on the. <laughs> oh, actually, this is the best part. It gives you an opportunity to point the screen and start where we started. Uh, I meme on Sunshine, like having like the floodless levels, but like. Is this not exactly the same thing? And then, like, this is a huge meme, like, you have to go up this ledge, so you have to wait for the die to, like, go around. This is a four-sided die, as in every die is a four. You have to wait for it to push you up, and then you go up. There you go. One death, I'll take one death. As long as I don't, like, jump off right here. Yeah, that one's not too bad. I feel like the, um, the bubble one I'm probably going to have the hardest time with. Uh, you can jump there if you swing the Wii Remote. Yes, I would like to save my game. Yes. Thanks, Fast TV. Thank you, Fast TV. Good stuff. Uh, so let's take uh, number number two. I'm gonna go with the blue one. Uh, the Loop de Swoop Galaxy. You can, if you remember your galaxy names, you can maybe have a hint at what this one is about. Uh, this is a continuation of the Manta Ray mechanic from that one level, and then only in that one level. Um, Again, I am reminded that Mario Odyssey had the, uh, the, like, the spherical, like, um, seal, like, race. Just, just at this one point, like, it's such a brief moment of the game. There's so many great moments in Odyssey, I swear. It's always a, a toughie, because, like, on the one hand, like, it's, it's cool to hate on new games, but then on the other hand, like, there's a lot of really cool new games out there. Um, this course is a monster! I would love if it was shaped like a Goomba or something like that, you know? Swell Goom. I like that. Yeah, uh, same rules apply. Just, uh... 
just go. The track gets narrow. I, I am reminded of, um, uh, if anyone knows, like, the lyrics to Daytona USA, and it's just like, the, legit, the guy just goes, This is your crew chief, the course is really tough, but it's a beautiful day, so good luck. It's like, <laughs> it's a bit of a, a fun translation, I guess, but it's also like, man, it's a bit of awesome. Oh, I don't know. Uh, not called Loopy Swoop without an actual Loopy Loop, except the other one I think is called Loopy Loop, and it did lack a Loopy Loop. So, but that's an actual Loopy Loop. There you go. You got to jump at this point. Just absolutely dive off the course. <laughs> I'm not diving off today. I'm, I'm pretty good at this. Okay. I can dive up here. <laughs> wow, a 102.11 race time. Nice. That is not an easy time to get on this course. Everyone wants to see you, so drop them and say hello. Oh, he is holding that star like it's his prized possession, and it's not his anymore, so... I like this course. It's a shame that, uh... Like, it, it existed in... as in this this uh, Manta Ray riding thing existed only in this level and the, the one in the first dome. Like, they're just, they're just there. There's, there's nothing more to it. And this is when you say, but Mario Galaxy 2 is your favorite Wii game of all time, to which I say, yes, but the entire game is all about <laughs> playing these mechanics once and then never again, and none of them are, there, uh, are that bad. I can't remember any of them. Uh, time to induce pain and torture on myself. I'm going to try the green one, which is the elusive Bubble Blast Galaxy. So, uh... I commented earlier that the bubble on my pointer, you know, was doing that weird thing where, like, it kind of cuts out every so often. Um, I'm going to be a little concerned if this one is going to be a bit tricky, but we'll see how it goes. So this is the Electric Labyrinth. Uh, the gimmick with this is that there are five wonderful silver stars scattered around five individual pipes. And I'm going to pick up every single one of them without dying. And each one is its own bubble course. It's kind of interesting that it's like a themeless kind of vibe. Uh, you can be the kind of guy who goes for the, the you know, star bits. Unless it's also coins, in which case, ew, sure. And then you just gotta work your way around until you hit the, the sling star. And you're back to the start. You will do what I say when I say. Alright, real talk, I love the way that like this bar like kind of phases into the next like bit and then it just like disappears. It's cool. Uh, these are not particularly like the toughest like bits, but it's just, you know, the patience. Patience is what gets a lot of people. And also the fact that, like, I believe... Do you continue going up here, or...? I should've been paying attention. Oh, you do, yeah. I think you continue going up in almost all of them, so... Alright, here we go. Pass the metal pillars, which... You can actually get coins. Coins. Also, did I say silver stars? The star chip. Sorry, my bad. And yes, that does imply that there's a little more level after this. Just a little bit, not too much, but just a little bit. Oh, uh, you know what's good? Not having coins. Oh no, more coins. Uh. Someone out there probably really does care about these coins, but, uh, it's not me. I love this, like, black hole in the back as if, like, it influences, like, what you're doing here. I care. Oh, you want me to get all these coins in? I'll do it just for you. I got one coin. I'm very happy. <laughs> Alright, 
right, we got Bouncy Boy. Bouncy Boy. Let's get past him. And then as a huge meme, like, you can't get back. You gotta go the long way. Uh, again. We would go for the coin. Just skirt past. And you're good. And you can now work your way. You're on the nice buster. Now you work your way to... Equal pain, because it keeps going on. It never ends. Uh, is that wind? That's worse than wind. Oh, he's actually, he's actually on me. There you go. So you gotta be a bit quick, or at least not to, not to get hit with a bullet bill. You can at least hit anything that's not electric or a spike or explosive. That's fine. And they're nice enough to give you generous one-ups. And also, these are rather straight, like... Nothing stops you from really just breezing through this. Ah, you see? You see what I did there? Because the last galaxy was called Bubble Breeze Galaxy, and this is Bubble Blast Galaxy. Uh, that's probably the meanest part, of having to kind of go quick and narrowly through that. And, uh, same thing with, like, all this, because there's nothing for any of these to, like, collide on. And I am going to 100% slap myself silly. You know what? They're generous enough to at least checkpoint you halfway there. So, at least it's that. You don't have to do the star chips again. <laughs> oh... Oh, well, there goes the 16 coins. I'm sorry, Guinea. I'm sorry. Oh, okay, okay. I went a bit too fast. <laughs> I went a bit too fast. Ah! <laughs> you think they probably did a bit of, like, sphere collision right there? Just to be like, okay, we need, like, the player to be able to get killed, like, from anywhere. Or maybe there's, like, exclusion zones. Like, maybe it's, like, the moment you, like, walk out of, you know, like, a specified area. It's just, like, find the closest black hole and kill the player. Which can also, I guess, be, like, subtractive, but... I love how, like, games uh, used to do that, where it's, like, they'd, they'd effectively build, like, you know... Region and and anti-region, and then like you just compile a map and you'd use you know binary space positioning and you'd you know, make it all happen magically, uh, or rather like the binary space positioning exists because it's really quick to read. Second map. Okay, take two. Once more with feeling. Once more with feeling. Yeah. Oh, big bait. Big bait. Big bait. Alright, do that. Do that. It made it the hardest of those three galaxies. But not not particularly like the absolute hardest. I died just as many times doing the uh the freeze flame thing as I did that. How many stars made? 62? Man, I'm not gonna get 20 in this. Or 24 in this one, but. I'll work my way to have at least having 72. So. Ooh. <laughs> uh, so my short-term goal is I'm going to uh, complete the bedroom, and then I'm gonna kind of rush my way to doing one thing afterwards. So there's two more stars in Dusty June, um, and maybe the comet will activate, maybe it won't. And then I'll do the, the boss, and then those who know the game, you'll know that, yeah, you gotta effectively beat the game uh, in order to unlock the ability to try 15 stars. Um, it's kind of annoying. I'm not a big fan of that, and that is why Galaxy 2 is a better game. Thank you, I'm here all week. Pokey. Oh, excuse me! Excuse me! What was that? 
Oh, he's gone. He's out of there. Excuse me, did I just spin into him or did the game just go like, yeah, nah. Nah. Your spin is powerless here. I'm gonna end on one health again. This Pokey. And spin back back to here. Alright, so no more hungry limit this time. I'm gonna continue on. Uh I'm gonna skip the the red mushroom there. And we're just gonna go for the goal. This cool sling star thing where you fly back and forth. I love how they got the rainbow star there as well. Didn't see that earlier, but uh, we got dry bones. How can you hate this level when it's got dry bones? Um, so this part's kind of cool. Basically, it's a ring where the sand like flowing all around the ring, and uh, just at various points there's these star chips, and you've just got to find or figure out where all four of them are. Ugh. Ooh. Yeah, they're all really hidden, so don't be too discouraged if you can't find all of them on your first go. Oh, I remember there's a chest at some point right there, and I need to get the shell from from <laughs> over there. Over there. Alright. A little bit of sliding, why not? Why not? Good slides are good. And... Conveniently, I'm right where it's, it, uh, all these star chips appear. I think that was just good memory and not, like, actually I, <laughs> I tried. So, this is a fun one. You get to choose choose your own adventure. Obviously, the yellow way is the, be the bellow way. Uh, it's also a lot shorter of a way, but you're fighting the, the slope there. Uh, I do not trust jumping like that gap at all, so I just prefer going. These are almost the same things as uh, before. You get all sucked up into them and you can fling yourself across. They don't uh, launch you as hard as uh, the big tornadoes so, uh, You want to really be careful because quicksand is deadly all the time. Have any of you guys actually like witnessed like someone getting sucked into quicksand? Like it seems like a bit of an odd odd thing. Because, like, it's it's effectively just, like, you know, you're displacing the sand on you. So you're sinking air quotes like that. Um, but then, yeah, like, really, like, if you're strong enough, can't you, like, push yourself out? You need, like, something, like, fixed above ground to, to like, really, like, pull you out of quicksand, though. So I guess if you fall into, like, a pit of it like this, you're, you're definitely stuffed. Uh, so the, uh... The goal with this area is that you smash that, which pushes all these platforms downwards, uh, and they appear on the opposite side. Uh, but now you've also got to rush and be able to get over there in time. Uh, I don't know if that guy's necessarily going to get me there that much quicker, probably not, but there's so much time to get, like, you know, to do this. You didn't even hear the double ticks. It's just that was it. That was it. So, but it's a cool, cool uh, idea. I like it. It's good fun. That's a lot of this game. It's basically like, oh yeah, that was, that was cool. And then you like it, and you're down to never really see it again, which is neat and not neat. It's neat because it makes your your level special. You know. See you, Guinea. Have a good one. Uh, and that reminds me, I gotta reset the, uh, the chat, because it's definitely being pushed down on the screen. That's always good fun. One day I will fix it. Sun-baked sand castle. I love a sun-baked sand castle. Did anyone have to sing that at their Australian primary school of choice? It goes through some, like, bizarre modulations, that song.
I don't know the name of it off the top of my head. It's got some like wonderful song-like uh, similes. I actually kind of like this galaxy. How you just like fly around like all these various bits. Uh, so here's a here's a thing. You pick up this one this one uh, starship, and then uh, the thing that you're supposed to do is press that, walk to the center, and then ride this up. Because the star chips come out with you. You can 100% climb this, like, there's no reason why you want it to go up or down necessarily. Oh, unless you're trash, like me. Um, so grab the shell. Uh, this is gonna be a pro gamer move right here. Oh! No! <laughs> Good enough to open it, but not good enough to get it. We got a lot of bones over here. That's okay, because I'm just gonna climb my way back up. Instead of, you know, you can make this thing go down and up as much as you want if you really want to, but you don't really have to. And then, uh, yeah, I've gotta wall jump my way back up again. That's cool. I like it. Mario is wall jumping. He really goes. This is a cool little planet because it it, uh, it teaches you that uh, I mean, there's that happening. Uh, is there something else as well? Oh yeah, the uh, the, the sand is slowly rising and sinking. You can watch it on on this, Where, like it goes up. And then at some point it comes back down. But it doesn't just stop. No, it comes back down, yeah. It's just there. Why? I don't know. There is a, a star, uh, a star bit kind of switch that appears like when it's really small, but when it's large, that's how you get out. Uh, this is also kind of neat as well. Uh, almost. There we go. So. Uh, gimmick with that, you've got the big pokey, it's like the first level, uh, but you can actually knock these coconuts into the gravitational field of the planet above, which is kind of cool. And then with that, with your singular coconut that you've got ready, you destroy the pokey. That's kind of cool. I like it. Ah, uh, but yeah, Nintendo, please, like, like, they gotta figure out how to, like, release old versions of their games. They... I don't know, they, like... They partially let themselves into a bit of a weird boat with, uh, the more bizarre control schemes. So the Wii Remote is one that's trickier to emulate, but I feel like, okay, you're doing Skyward Sword now. Which is, like, that's... that's your full-blown. Like, if you can do Skyward Sword, you can do anything with the Wii Remote for the most part. Uh, unless it involved the speaker in a large capacity. In which case, please ride around that. Nothing screams better than uh, a rising floor, especially when it's upside down. Uh, better make him left-handed in the remake. Uh, they don't make him left-handed, I know. Same thing, the the most egregious one was um, uh, Twilight Princess on the Wii U. Didn't even make him left-handed. They stuck with the Wii version for some reason. Bit bizarre. Uh, but like, yeah, you've got that. You've got Mario Galaxy. I feel like there's nothing really that like prevents them from. I guess at the very least, like re remaking these games for uh for the Switch. Nintendo seems to hold on to a lot of their source code, so it's bound to bound to exist, bound to to be out there. Um. And, uh, yeah. I'm curious, does Mario, Mario 64 runs under emulation? Mario Sunshine? Is that... Is that actually running natively? Or is that running under an emulation layer? Because also, is Galaxy running under an emulation layer? Ah, I was expecting a comet to appear. Wah. 
So, Sandblast Speed Run. Yeah. Now I gotta do this one faster. Again. Yet again, yet again, the third time I gotta do this star. And alright. Oh! Third time's the charm. Third time's the charm. I got them all in one go. Alright. These speedruns are not that bad though. It's just, yeah, it's it's doing the same star that you did before. Like, that's the bit that kind of gets me. It's like, yeah, it's, it's, it's the same star. There's not too many of the speed ones. Like, I, I think out of all the, the comet types, all 15 main galaxies that end up having a prankster comet of some variety, I think there's four of these? It looks like a bit, but it's not a ton. No, I can't quite jump up there. So let's, let's pull my strat of... I guess I'm going around now. I guess I'm going around. Here we go. Oh, oh, oh. Hey, there we go. Uh, I definitely... Oh, there was another one. No, wait. It's definitely another one that I missed that's not the... The chest one. Darn. Oh, 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 oh. There we go. <laughs> uh, if people take what I'm saying out of context, there you go. There's another book for you. Uh... Am I at that point where there's an out of context Bundo channel? I really want to make the the ebooks Twitter though, but just like random things. I swear, I swear, everyone needs an ebooks Twitter or anything. Maybe Mastodon, uh, stuff like that. I've really got to like look into Twitter's API. I've really got to finish my bot. I've really got to do all this stuff. I love how, yeah, like, uh, just, uh, at work, it's like, I, they've made me, not even they've made me realize, but I've come up to a scenario where I've, like, I've realized that, like, I've done something in my bot that, like, could totally be, like, reworked. See you, Aiden. Have a good one. Enjoy your week, and stay very safe and well. By the way, no doubt all the, um, the tornadoes are gone. It makes this area a bit more interesting because you gotta be a little more careful, but not like tons more careful. Also, I'm not too sure if there's more star bits, but that's definitely a lot of star bits. Like 127, just like, maybe two, uh, close to three minutes I've done this level. And yeah, don't jump off because you gotta do the whole level. Um, but yeah, like, I, like, we're just implementing a, a, a system where, like, oh, you know, we've got, a uh, users need to be reminded of, like, something at a certain point in time. And I'm like, oh, like, I've put that kind of functionality in my, in my Discord bot. And then, with no other stimulus, I go, like, okay, well, I think the best way to do this is to basically priority queue all the, you know, all the things such that you can just go, oh, okay, well, I will sleep until the next thing. And then, you know, alert, and then I'll sleep until the next thing after that. And, uh, and, uh, and, and I was like, you know, that's a lot better than the way that I've done my current bot, where it's like, it spawns individual, not threads, but, um, asynchronous, like, threads. Uh, by the way, there is another elusive star in this galaxy. It's like the, the small number of galaxies which have a seventh star. Because from note, there's a there's a star and uh, sorry, there's a uh, an extra comet, which I'll be getting into soon. So this one is yet again. Uh, whoop. Yet again, a very similar thing. Just play the star as you always did. Um, but yeah, like, I, I realized without any extra stimulus, like, how to just make my Discord bot better, because it's currently doing something that's, you know, rather rough. It doesn't, like, 
it occasionally misses alerts. It, it does alright given the low amount of traffic it actually does get, but it's also just like... Yeah, it 100% could be like way better. And it's just like, I don't know like how that kind of simulation is just going to come, but sure. I don't know, does anyone else get that? Where like they they think of something that like, you know, would improve something else that's completely irrelevant to the thing that they were... Not completely irrelevant, but like, they think of an idea that's so much better than like ideas that they've had before, like, while doing something completely irrelevant to that original idea. I don't know, that's probably a common thing. Uh, okay, can I pull this off twice? Oh, Sweet. Lots of the dry boys. So, yeah, it's kind of unfortunate you gotta do, like, most of the level again. Okay, I'm good. <laughs> I thought I missed that like, horrendously. Which I probably still did, but... Alright, back up. Hey, remember the, the ball jumping in Mario 64? And alright. It's crazy. Uh, okay, so the trick with this one is... Dang it, I missed it. Alright. Wait for this all to come back down. Actually, bonus points, I'm going to get rid of the, the spike. Now I'll just make this a little easier. Let's see if I can get rid of as many enemies as I can. We got crabs. You got to hit them from the butt side. This one's a bit more adamant. He goes one up, so. Very cool. Alright, so... Yeah, you may be thinking, okay, is it that wooden stump? Ooh, a lot of, a lot of star bits just floating right up there. Uh, so at a certain point, this appears. Uh, oh gosh, oh gosh, my direction's changing. My direction is changing so hard. Alright, this gets a bit tricky because the planet needs to like expand at some rate. But if you could do that, you get another launch star. Which takes you to the elusive mystery planet that we had seen, but not visited. I like this thing. Uh, especially when I ground pound into the ground and not the... Uh, Alright, so the trick is get the bullet bills. Alert one bullet bill. And then go for the star. And you can go for the rainbow star if you really want to, but I feel like I'm not really. Ooh, maybe I do go for the rainbow star. Can I get him? I kind of do want to try that rainbow star just to just to see what's up. Oh well, well, there it is. Yeah, there we go. Mm, that was not 100% the uh, result I was expecting. There you go. Take two. Take two. Take two. Oh, jibu, jibu. Alright, 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 take three, take three. There you go. Let's do this. Let's get him. That's definitely a foot of the stop it. Well. That was definitely a very fun and worthwhile thing to experience. Does the star come down with me or no? It does. Cool. Well, that's a fun bonus star. I enjoyed it. As the planet sinks on you.
Yeah. Yes. 66. We're kind of getting there. We're kind of getting there. I guess I'm going for 24 stars a an episode, so... Bowser's Dark Matter Land. Now this, this is a level. Darkness on the Horizon. Actually, I do really enjoy this level. This one's good fun. It's full of some crazy sideways gravity. We got the blue and the pink ones. Now we got green. I don't know what that sound was, but sure. Darkness on the Horizon. Here we go. Uh, also, I love the pink whatever goop. The shader effect is rather simple, as long as it actually it could even be just like an animated texture of alpha, but stuff and so it's like neat and abstract because it's like ooh space. And it gives a semblance of Bowser messing around with matter, even though it's like oh, okay. So uh, the gimmick here is that you want to not. Well, you want to be on the right side of these platforms when the gravity changes on you. Uh, so there's a floor there, for example, but you don't want to be on the floor, you want to be higher up. I love how seamlessly, like, this game moves between its 2D and 3D environments, though. Uh, introduce the fun, uh, matter sucking cubes, gelatinous cubes. They're good fun. They're real good fun. The effects cool as well. Because it's like it's it's like its own skybox. Oh, uh, everyone sleeps on those second Bowser levels, you know? And I have thrown that platform out the window. Or have I? Oh, you thought I threw that out, didn't you? Not today. I love this plus. It's like you're going about and you're like, okay, I've got to now stand in this corner such that I fall over this way. But now, I've got to move down into this corner. Which, like, it's technically the same amount of work, but it just looks so weird when you're on the, you know, sideways like that. And then you're upside down and then you're like, okay, now I've got to work my way onto this side. And now you're good. You don't want to jump up too high because that, that shoves its way down. And then you can finally be at peace and fall down. Final platform. Always looks cool. We got a Luma here. He turned into stairs. They give you a life if you need it. Like, as if the Bowser fights are really that hard. Who knows? Thank you a lot, he says. Oh, jeez. Oh! He... Did he not expect Mario to get here? Did he expect someone else? Was this like Pizza Man or something? I told you, my toilet is not clogged. So Bowser has almost the same strat, but he spins! He unfortunately still falls for the same trick though. And my battery's low! Ooh! Ooh, that's good fun. You're gonna get a bunch of that prompts, uh... Like, for the rest of the stream, that'll be good fun. Ah, now I'm angry! You know what it made me realize? The fact that I haven't fought a boss this... Uh, this whole stream yet. He's gonna do his dash. Oh. Oh, he jumped. Oh, it's because I touched the fire. Man. I'm getting cycled. There you go. There you go. Tail hurt, I guess. Oh. There he goes. Once more with feeling, because now he's really angry. Again. 
lot of these fireballs start being like a, a real big problem. And he also starts jumping a ton. And then, uh, do these come on the reverse side? No, they're just, they're just there. Yeah, that counts. That counts. Sure. Ooh, Bowser, why are you all the way over there? No, Bowser. Bowser? Straight line, Bowser. Straight... Oh my gosh. I broke the cycle. I, I ruined it. He was nowhere near me. Jeez. The music was just like, oh, really? Really? You botched that up? She's five balls go, bro. Oh, I'm dreadful. I'm actually dreadful. Alright, do the spins, do the spins. Alright, come at me, come at me. There you go, okay. Come to a very predictable position. Like there. Why did he not walk over there last time? Who knows? Ah, uh, oh. Oh. Oh, he's gone. And there he goes. Uh, it's, yeah, it's kind of almost the same fight as the last one. But he does more rings, and he punches. Not bad, I guess I chose the right guy to be the arch enemy, at least you always put up a fight. But it's too bad for you, because my master plan is almost complete. You think Bowser is really smart enough to have, like, that much of a master plan? And yet again, here is another grand star. So I got the grand star. What of it? And yet again, Mario flies towards the center part of the map, and he delivers this grand star to the star. It's a star that powers the star. And that actual star, like, I think they're trying to make that an actual star, so it's like a dense ball of, of, of matter that's you know, constantly burning. But it's, I guess it's not that bright, because you can look at it, so... Uh, this is when the, uh, the, 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 um, yeah, the Comet Observatory starts to get a little annoyingly large, uh, once they start introducing this upper floor. Oh, I've discovered a new galaxy. Whoa! Oh, is now the time? Now's the time! I'm gonna do this at the end of the, um... Uh... That's a bit interesting, because I, I, I thought you only needed 60 stars. Like, now. <laughs> Thanks, game. Wow! There you go! Okay, so, once you've beaten Bowser for the second time, you can go and play the end of the game. Uh, I'm going to choose to not do that. There does exist one more Grand Star, uh, where you get to fight Bowser Jr. Uh, yet again. Um, but that's not actually required. You can technically beat the game after only, yeah. Beating Bowser four times. Of course, you still need uh, 60 stars in order to fight Bowser for the last time. Um, yep, thanks, game. Thank you, game. <laughs> so, we have discovered an enemy base in the region. We hope they are not misusing the Grand Star. Uh, so this is the engine. Uh, like the bedroom, there exists... Um, I'm probably gonna do the final level with, like, 10 minutes left. That'll probably be it, because I need to get it done at some point, otherwise, you know, well, you don't get to play the, the purple coin comments otherwise, so. Uh, so that was, yeah, Bone Fish, this is Bone Fin, which is almost the same level, but not quite. Uh, so this is King Finn's Fearsome Waters. Yes. Welcome to the galaxy! So, uh, this is a kind of interesting level, because, uh, yeah, remember that that other level, which involved, like, hunting down the eels? This is almost the same one. Ooh, I mentioned the Cave of Bad Dreams earlier, now we've got the mouth shot. 
So that's the Bald Guy's music again. Uh, yeah, I guess here's another uh, boss. It's just a level that's just the boss. It's got this cool like uh, aesthetic to what's above it. I like that. Um, it would be the kind of guy who, like opens the chest. Don't even need red shells, bro. You just just gotta be good. I love how like energetic the music is as well. Again, really close one. Eat it into it. There you go. Now I'm angry. I'm a fish. How can you get that angry? Uh, anyway, send some torpedo fish. Sure. Oh, not quite, not quite. Alright, fine. Let's go for the right now. Uh, there he is. And that is bouncing a little bit. There you go. Let's go with the green shell. Uh, oh, he's gonna turn on me. He's turning on me. Ah, uh, ah, dang it. Well, he only takes three hits, so. Ooh. Or does he? I baited you. I baited all of you. I got baited earlier by the game, and now, now that I'm in the zone, I'm going, yeah, nah. I stood too close to the fire, so the guys were on fire in the hot lava. Where is he chilling? There he is. I think that the one thing that Mario Galaxy basically like cemented was that you can make a 3D platform that's just consistently ideas, ideas, ideas. And as long as you execute all of them, like, really well, people will, like, full-on, like, love the game, because there will be levels that people just absolutely love coming back to. This is actually the, the classic, um, Sonic Adventure, like, paradigm, where, like, Sonic Adventure is a real average game, but the Sonic and the Shadow levels done in it are quite good fun, I will say that. The, the rest of the game is rather, rather average. But people remember the really good bits. And having the ability to just, like, go in and play the really good bits. Like, this isn't, like, a campaign that has, like, you know, that one, like, freakishly good moment. It's like, hey, it's... It's a game that has, you know, like, you know, various levels. And you can play the really fun levels over and over again if you really wanted to. Um... And I think that's, like, something that Mario Galaxy, like, absolutely cements. Except, it's got so many good levels that people forget the fact that it's just that. It's like, no, if you do the good level idea so many times over and over, legit, people will remember it so much. Well, that was a fun, fun little small galaxy. Uh, let's do the 34, which is... Is this the one? Not quite. Okay, Gold Leaf Galaxy, otherwise known as, uh, hi, uh, Mr. First Eddie. Uh, we copy-pasted this level, and I hope you don't mind that we did it, because that's why Galaxy 1 is much better than Galaxy 2, right? Yeah, um, ah, but, uh, yeah, this is a rather bizarre galaxy to me. Uh, mostly because my battery is almost about to die, and I'm gonna end the stream soonish, don't worry. But I'm gonna kind of ruin the ending of the game first, but, uh, yeah, is, is, is this the same as the other galaxy, but it's reverse? Yes. Yes, it is. I thought I was empty. Oh. You're not Mr. Fast Daddy. I see how it is. I see how it is. Uh, so, the... Yeah, I, I think the thing with uh, this one is that yeah, you gotta get the blue star chips. I forgot so much about, like, how this galaxy works. So, I believe, yeah, this is all about exploring and getting the blue star chips, which are just scattered around. Uh, whoever put uh, this one between three uh, piranha plants, uh, thank you. You deserve a spot in my uh, don't go near list. 
Mr. FD, now it's Mr. FT. Why is it? Oh, why is it FT? Hold on, why exactly, like, is it Fierce TV now? What happened to the one that didn't have a one in it? That's a ledge. Is this like Justin TV and I'll just like come up with a name and add TV to the end and that's your that's your stream handle. That's your old account. But like I thought your old account was the one with the one in it, and then you had like another one, didn't you? Didn't think I had any good names. Fair enough. Yes, enough. Ooh. Hey, sleeping bees, bro. Uh, on the back. Don't need no bee. You just go for it, bro. That's it. Hundred <laughs> percent. Now I'm angry. Alright, I legit thought there was another, like, starship over near the, uh, near the back of the tree, but... Am I thinking of a different star? I think I might be. Way more catchy. Yeah, that, that pillar. That pillar. What is, what is going on with that? It's just there, isn't it? Coins, got it. Coins. Cool. And now legit, like, am I onto something? With that, like, mystical platform, or am I, like, just looking in the wrong place? I feel like I don't remember the, the star bit being, or the star ship being up there, but now it's like, where's the last one? Oh, it's not in that box, is it? In the box. Well, one day we'll learn what that mystical box uh, platform was way at the back. But for now, for now, it is worth just continuing, taking a jump, not falling into the pit, and getting some wonderful stuff. Thank you for the follow, bussy, beautiful sun. Dot dot dot. Unfortunately, that's cut off. Thank you, thank you, Streamlabs, for cutting that off. Think you can catch me? I'm gonna kill you, bunny. Oh, I wanted to actually get him like that. This is really not, like, having my day. I think you gotta do something cheeky to get this rabbit as well, don't you? Oh, legit? Oh my gosh. You see what I'm doing? Like, I'm trying to aim the star chips, and then when she aim it too high up, he just goes, so... Uh, I guess I'm gonna have to play... play it by their rules. You can see these wonderful, uh, question mark boxes, but... On top of that, here we go. Now we've got some walls. Or, or I could just smack him with the freaking question mark thing, and then ruin it! But he slows down so hard in water. Don't you dare, don't you dare, don't you dare expire the timeout. I'm gonna murder these rabbits, I swear. Can we invent mixomatosis for these uh, star rabbits? What? Oh. Get it. Get him. Ah, you got me. I'll take this off. Don't expect to catch me so easy next time. Well, I got a saw. I'm happy. And back to the observatory we are. Uh, it's an observatory, I guess. So, 
back up and into the level. Uh, I love my star count, by the way. Cataquack to the skies. Here we go. Just, just call me Nougat. I missed that as well. Just, just call me Nougat. Or is it Nugget? You are named after a package manager. How, do, how does it feel? Yes. If I if I have children, I'm gonna name uh, one of my children uh, Maven. It's gonna be like a, a very like obtuse name, where it's like it, it doesn't sound too odd for like like a child name. So you launch yourself up here because you don't get the flower like last time. Now this, this is the the miracle uh, thing. If you go to the back of the uh, to the back of here, you've got a bubble. I think that actually gets rid of your bee. The bubble. It does. Yes. Uh, the bubble is not gone. But if you hit that, then we got to play the music. Oh. I want to go too quick. Whoa, I'm, I've, I've lost this. I've lost this. I've lost this. Oh, spe <laughs> I, I, yeah, mm, that, this is actually the worst possible way that I have done that level. Absolutely dreadful. Alright, well, uh, that would have led to the secret slide. I'm just gonna peacefully ignore that, uh, not listen to any Honey Hive music, and uh, we'll, just, we'll just float out to... Uh, the intended route? Cataquack, I guess, will lead me to, to victory. Also, wow, they give you a lot of time, it's just uh, I wish I didn't pop the balloon off the, the bubble off the top. Darn. I wonder if you could jump up here normally. That seems a bit high. That seems a bit high. I don't think you do. Uh, so we got this wonderful cataquack here. You gotta direct him towards this ledge. There's even an icon. Now, this is this is kind of like that other planet, the, the hedge maze planet. It's just that the hedge maze is uh, in its uh, autumn season, I guess. Uh, but this is, I like this concept. So you've you've got to guide the cataquack through the hedge maze. So let's get him out. Spin him, let's get, okay, thank you, cataquack, for being a valued member of our society. Let's get him out of here, let's go. And I let him into a dead end. That's pretty cool. Ah! Can you get past there or not? Oh, thank you, Cataquack. Slowest thing in the world. Alright, Cataquack, back up. Get in here. Uh, is it straight across? Not quite straight across. Got it. Back around. Back around I go. Cataquack. I want a cataquack as a pet. Except without the lifting. There we go. And he can launch you up. Up to here. Uh... There's just cataquacks everywhere on this planet, but uh, if you're not paying attention, you will 100% uh, go where you don't want to go. Uh, like, forward. Forward. Yeah, okay. No, nope. A little more forward. A little more, like up here. Up here. Up I go. There we go. Well, there's the star, and now I'm going to be at a rather far away point from it. Uh, so I believe, yeah, there we go. Use the cataquack to knock you up the thing. That's not the whole way up the jungle tower. Uh, 
Uh, do I direct the Catacrack somewhere? I'm, I'm blanking really hard on all those galaxies. We get rid of this guy, but he doesn't really do too do much to us. The Jenga Tower seems like a, a lost last one thing, so what I'm thinking is instead of that, there's probably something on the water side over here, like maybe a, uh... I feel like the, uh, like this might be a sign. No, that looks like it's star -based. Not specifically anything big in particular. Hmm, I'm blanking out hard on what they intend for me to do here. I've got the Cataclyte. Oh, duh. For the B. For the B. I, I saw it earlier. I blanked. Well, I end the stream like I start the stream. Do this. Alright, use the B, fly up, regain your breath, and uh, work your way around the flowers. rather fun visually. Even if it is like just really you know, slow single platforming. It's just fun visually kind of like working your way around it. Alright, I know I said uh, that I would do the final level after I hit like a minute 50, but I do kind of want to try that one bonus star just because it was right there and it would bring me up to 72 stars when I finish the game. I gotta do the last start twice anyway, so... I would like to save my game. Thank you very much, game. I appreciate you for asking. And that's what we as a mutual interest game player relationship does. Alright, uh, back to Catacock and the That is 100% the one I clicked on, isn't it? That is 100% what I clicked on. The game was just like, nah, nah. You play this level now. Oh, that's cooked. Because you know what happens when you, when you return to the observatory? You go, oh no, you're back out in the dog. Okay. That was kind of cooked. I swear, did I, did I click on the center one? Very certain I clicked on the center one. Center one. Cataquacks in the skies. Game was like, no, no, no. What? The other level. Alright. I hope I never see a Cataquack again, even though I know they're in uh, Galaxy 2. They'll never get rid of the Cataquacks, will they? Alright, instead of taking it, like, horrendously fast, I'm just gonna take it, like, reasonably slow pace. I don't know if my wear mode is, like, conking out on me now because of the battery. It actually could be. But, considering how much time I had left... I could take this at a reasonable pace. Ding. That's a star. That is just a star on its own. That's what I meant by like, this is... Yes! Okay. <laughs> I thought I botched that. I thought I botched that real hard. <laughs> okay. Woo! Woo! Sweating. Sweating hard. Alright, so, to the five people who are still viewing, uh, you're in for a treat where my battery is low. You're gonna have that constantly, constantly pinging, uh, right now. Uh, but uh, for anyone who's played this game, you know that uh, there exist 15 comets that only appear if you have beaten Bowser, uh, which means that, yeah, I effectively could only be getting 105 stars if I continued on at this point without beating the game. So, unfortunately, that means that you really need to beat the game twice. One at the very end and one whenever you kind of can on the way, so... It is time! Do you want to go to the location of your special one? Yes. There's nothing really dramatic that I guess, like, you've done on the way. Like, I guess you've gotten the Grand Stars, but sure. Uh, 
you get to experience this cutscene of Rosalina going, Ah, yes, I have found where the, uh... Where it is, I guess. Sure. To which she points the common observatory, and it makes slightly more sense how it moves. It's like a little, little pointy rocket ship. Uh, except it's powered by a star, so... Kind of infinite fuel. Is there something with the egg kind of imagery here? Like, that kind of seems like it's more, uh... There are actual, like, human... Not human beings, but there's actual, like, sentient beings on all these ships, and Rosalina is just demolishing all of them. Ha! Go, Mario! There's a line. She makes this really dramatic, but like, what stops me from just like, launch starring into the level? Also, you go into the castle here, and I feel like they had the intention of like, having like, a castle segment. Nice. Um, but then it gives you the level select, and you're like, okay. The fate of the universe, by the way, they make this seem like... Bowser's just like, actually destroying everything, even though... I don't know, he doesn't seem like, he's not that bad a guy, is he? Uh, interestingly though, you walk into the level and you're not greeted in. Uh, you've got these cool little things that just give gravity where they're looking. That's cool. <laughs> I just need to play with gravity a bit too much. No, 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 no! Oh my gosh, I'm not paying attention. I'm sorry. I'm sorry to everyone. I have, like, okay, I legit, I started the stream playing trash. I'm gonna end the stream playing trash. And you can't do anything about it. Yeah. Well, you can, but please don't. <laughs> alright, alright, alright. So, continue on. Uh, we got a one up here in case I'm not gonna close my game the moment I finish this level and lose all my lives anyway. Uh, it's a pretty, pretty regular level, but it goes on a bit. Oh, that'd be wonderful if you could, like, hop up that. So much. They give you too many coins and stuff, so. Hey, that's a cool skip. Uh, here is another skip that I know of. Oh, no, no, it's not a skip. I forgot. It's not a skip. It's not a skip. It's not a skip. Oh, there's no checkpoint there, is there? Oh, there is. Okay. Well, that's a bit mean. I guess it seems a bit too obvious, doesn't it? Why do they do this to me? And then they see like how I just platform now. I'm like, yep, this guy 100% can go now. Uh, this is kind of neat. It's it's uh, ice physics. And it's the space jump effect. It's done pretty nicely, I like it. Nicely, because it's icely. Ah, I see what I did there. Platforms disappear a bit over time, and Mario decided to enjoy that. Enjoy that ledge a bit. Is this the one which you can jump? Yes! It is, except I timed it terribly. But that is the one you can jump. <laughs> That's what I was thinking. Okay. Oh, now I gotta do. Why- why is it that there's a checkpoint after the, the first one of these, but not, like, all of them? Ah, uh, uh. I worry that I'm aggravating everyone by going so aggressively on, like, shortcutting things. That it's just like, man, you're just not, like... You're, you're not just playing this legit. People who, okay, real talk, people who do like, uh, uh, like, uh, oh, there it is, okay, that's the cut, gets it through all that, <laughs> uh, people who do, uh, like, walkthroughs, and they play through games so patiently, like, legit, those people are absolute, you know, beasts. We got fire bars. We got shifting gravity. 
We got platforms that just disappear on you with like real no word. That one's a bit mean because it's on the corner. We got this weird cylinder planet. Uh, they reuse this idea a bit in uh, Galaxy 2 levels, but for the moment, it's uh, it's here. I actually not experienced any uh, cylinder planets. Ugh, ugh. I love this like band cycle as well. Oh, I did I did it again, I did it again. I'm going so aggressively. I apologize to everyone. I'm gaining lives still. Uh fortunately the checkpoint is like here, I guess. Yeah, you see like the top is like already there. So like when you're at this point, it's like these two just do right away. Just use this involved friends, it's a point over it. And the fact that I've got 197 Starbits already. Help! Polar Bills! Ah! He's still on me! Help! My battery's low! I can blame it for all my problems! Ah! This Polar Bill's still on me! Ah! Ah! I think he's gone. No! He's still there! <laughs> Ah. There he goes. Finally, the bullet bill is gone. Alright, real talk. We made this ledge, like, a little too steep. <laughs> it's a little too steep there. And here is Bowser. It's a bit of a way to get here, but it's not a ton of a way. Looking for Princess Peach? She's with me! Mario is really tired of constantly looking for Peach. I'd be too, man. I'd be too, man. Doesn't the Mushroom Kingdom have, like, acting monarchs or something? Like, legit. Like... They... they like... They've never instilled, like, someone to take over the Mushroom Kingdom. They literally, like, kidnap the leaders. And then, like, the Mushroom Kingdom is just so rather incompetent that they do not fill those leadership positions. Like, yeah, you, you want to get the princess back, but, like... You know, won't the kingdom, like, just run on as usual? Like... I'll rule a great galactic empire with Peach by my side. It'll last forever. I will rule every pitiful corner of the universe. This is his plan, by the way. All he's basically doing is that he just wants to have his own galaxy and just so happens to destroy every other galaxy? Guess what? It's kind of the same fight, except not really, but uh, now you actually got to be good enough to smack the, the rocks. So that's an interesting one. At least it's not the, uh, not the glass stone thing, you know? A little too aggressive there. A little too aggressive there. Is he gonna jump again? Dang it. And yes, it's the same music. Again. Okay. At least, at least I give you a fair bit of wiggle work there. Double hit him. And uh, you've knocked Bowser off in two hits. But you've got yet another go. You can just hit him right away. So he just turns into a double shell, which is what it's supposed to prevent you from getting it right away. Uh, with two more hits, uh, we finally get vacuumed into the center of the weird star thing. I don't know. And uh, yeah, now we're back to the, back to this. So other than that, it's the huge. He does this, which wastes your time for a bit. At some point, he then does a jump, and that's when he does the dive. And it's the same thing as before, except now there's no platform kind of blocking the way as well. And you may get a better view of him on the other side, considering the transparent platform here. 
now I'm angry. Now I'm gonna spit fire everywhere. Again! Wow. Music's neat. He really tries to like run to where you are. That's that's one thing about all these fights. Is that it's like, man, they really try hard to like not let you just like wash it up. Only two hits, because six hits otherwise. I don't know, seven would be a fun number. Uh Bowser probably has the most painful experience in this one, where he literally falls back and falls into a star. He actually just like completely annihilates himself. He's gone. He's, he's just gone. I don't think this is really being powered by anything more than the other ones. Like, if he hid all 120 stars, including, uh, seven, six grand stars, seven grand stars, there are seven. Actually, yes, there are seven. But, like, you think his plan wouldn't work if he was missing, like, some of the grand stars? But no, he... Just needed this one, really. I guess the rest was just for merit. Rosalina needed like at least four, so because you need because in order to unlock a dome, you need to get the grand star from the previous dome. Um, uh, for reference, yeah, that's the end of the game normally. Now I will continue playing. I will continue getting the remaining 48 stars after this, and also doing the same level again. Um, and basically witnessing the same cutscene again. Uh, but, in doing so, this unlocks the purple star, which, uh, the purple star comments, which you'll probably see right away. Um, and, uh, yeah, they, they give a little more spice to each of the levels. Why, yeah, why they're required, why you have to fight Bowser to unlock those? I don't know. Uh, saw this molten rock. Uh, it's kind of going a bit kablooey. The Bowser's okay. I guess after surviving lava. He's got some crazy, you know, physicality to survive lava like that. Space, you can always hear Bowser scream. And yeah, uh, there's I guess like a supernova event, which uh, I guess would cause a black hole because invention of energy. I forgot my black hole logic, but uh, the effect's kind of cool. Lots of lines of hard colors and shadery stuff, and things can. You know, blown into the center. Looks cool. Uh... So, I mean, if you remember that this Loom was a character, it's like, yeah, all the Loom is, uh, jumping into the black hole? After Mario has done so countless times in the game. Uh... This is a rather abstract thing. I get a very Majora's uh, Mask vibe. What's happening here? There's like a screen? I don't know. It's rather, rather surreal. Just that nice, nice. <laughs> Thank you, Battery. And then you get this weird thing where Rosalina is massive. I don't know why. She's absolutely massive. And, uh, she just goes, do you hear the baby stars, these newborns will grow up to become galaxies someday. So, I don't know, it's like some circle of life message at the end. The whole idea is that, you know, everything is born out of stardust and becomes stardust. 
at the end. This is literally the Lion King, isn't it? It never repeats itself in quite the same way. Yeah, uh... That, then a bit of, bit of camera, like, so you'll see. I'm like, bro, what do you know about Earth that I don't? Is global warming coming that quick? Jeez. Uh, <laughs> the Big Bang was how many years ago? Like, it's, it's, not, it's not about a collapse on itself right away, is it? Dude, actually, I remember around, like, around the time of Mario Galaxy 2, there was, um, uh, the talks of, um, uh, the Earth's, uh, magnetic polarity kind of changing and, and, like, people would be like, oh, dude, like, you know, that could mean, like, compasses stop working, ships would, f like, aircraft would fall out of the sky, I'm like, I haven't seen it happen yet, I don't know. What a happy game! Happy game! Woo! Everybody's here, the evil fish, the weird space monsters, giant bee, Dino Piranha that I absolutely beat up. Just a, just a handful of things. Uh, Peach is on the ground. Bowser's here. Just to show that he's okay. There's a lot of ahs and oars and and uh, yeah, Mario doesn't notice that uh, yeah. Rayman Two reference number three. You remember Lee the fairy saying like just like odd English lines here and there. What is it? Yes. Welcome, new galaxy. Uh, yeah, right outside our Mushroom Kingdom Earth, we have a bunch of bizarre out-of-place galaxies that are, or planets that are mostly from Good Egg and Gussie Garden there, but sure. Uh, and then, yeah, that was, that's the game. You just hit credits, and, uh, yeah, cool. I will properly view these credits at, later, at a later point in time. I gotta watch these. I gotta watch it. Cool. Thanks, game. Alright, well, uh... For the time being, I've definitely enjoyed my, my time playing Galaxy, but yeah, there's, there's still more stars to go, and obviously there's a lot more levels to go. I've only played the first Galaxy in uh, the uh, the engine. There's still two more domes. Like, well, a little under two more domes. There's still a fair bit left, so don't feel like I'm ditching Mario Galaxy right away. Uh, but I do really enjoy this game. I still think the sequel is a little better. It's got its quirks here and there, and I think that the this one, like, well, I, I think 2 just plays with the idea so much more and, and in a rather inventive way, given that it's a direct sequel like that. Uh, but that's always, that's a, a plus about direct sequels, is that sometimes, like, you know, they are, like, rather simple, just like, you know, upgrades, if not the same game, but more. And uh, sometimes the Galaxy 2, where it's like, it's the same game and a lot more. And sometimes they're a very different same game. I feel like we're past the point. Yeah, thank you. Um, yeah, I think we're past point of uh, games being like... Also, I think this was like just a little over six hours to get to like 72 stars. If I really wanted to, I would have gotten this like a fair bit sooner. Um, so I guess there's that. I don't know like what exactly like the speedrun strats for this are. Let me look it up. Speedrun.com, Super Mario Galaxy. I'm very certain like the best time for uh, 120 stars is less than 6 hours. It is just under 6 hours. It's 5 hours 41 53 as of 9 months ago by a Mr. Cloud Kirby. Uh, the any percent is 2 hours 28. And if I really wanted to, I would take all three of these streams and I would definitely be quite far from the bottom. Uh, there is one guy who has a 13 hour time on there. Good on you. I, I do appreciate people putting just like their legitimate time, uh, like just on speedrun.com, even if you aren't really speedrunning. I don't know, it's kind of neat. No, this game's got great music as well. I love the, you know, games really going in with an orchestra because like it's, 
it's a great like brand vibe to it all without necessarily like you know being um well yeah like i mean an orchestral soundtrack works really well with this game it's surprising like considering how you know more abstract like chip tuny stuff back in the you know even the nintendo 64 era um hey there's your bill trainer does he still work in nintendo he's still there isn't he he's been there forever By the way, is this two Mario games where the uh, the, um, the the ally of the of Mario ends up sacrificing himself in some some capacity? Never mind, like Galaxy Two exists, and they just kind of invent that there's a star that does the exact same thing again. Sure. So I don't know, man. I don't know. They're not going to pull, like, a cheeky Thank the end Thank you so on. much for playing my game. Oh, my gosh. Jeez. Thanks. Thanks, Charles Martin. I appreciate it. Ooh, new chapter's been added. The Purple Comet. So that's that's the one. The Purple Comet. Uh, with that, I think that's going to be a good point to end the stream because it is currently quarter to 11. And I know people like sleeping. So, uh, with that, I'll call it a stream. Thank you guys very much for watching. Uh... Like always, Buzz is going to be up on YouTube sometime in the next day. Uh, unless you are on YouTube, in which case, hi, welcome, um, please subscribe. I like that. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, if you enjoy this stuff, please keep following and watching and yeah, it's, it's good stuff there. Uh, I really, I still always have no idea what to really end my streams by saying, other than uh, I guess it's not going to be April anymore. It's, we're, we're entering the month of May. The month of May. Seriously, this year is going, like, slightly quicker than I expected. But, you know, there's so many things to look forward to and so many, like, cool things to, to, to witness. So don't let it go too fast. Soak up what it is. And, uh, yeah, other than that, like, stay safe. Uh, play some cool games, listen to some cool music. Eat some chicken. If you're a vegetarian, it's up to you. Eat some cool things. How about that? Alright, have a good one, everyone.